Wow. What the? Ah! I got him. I got him. Dude, I didn't know. Uh, he sent it. We got aerators all around the pool pond. Look at this. I'm coming out. Here we go. What is going on, Kaferos? Welcome back to another video here. Today, before I start the video, I've got really weird, awkward, and it's very, I don't know what the heck it is, actually. At four something in the morning, I don't know, the time's above, this is what I see. I left a bag of garbage right here, which is obviously not there anymore, and two, what I'm thinking is stray dogs, literally came up to the garbage. First of all, the whole yard is gated in now. As you can see, the whole yard, and I'll show you how they got it in just a second. How, what the, two complete, like, one looked like a Rottweiler and one looked like some sort of coon, like a mix. I don't know, crazy, I just thought I'd share it because I think it's pretty cool. Garbage can was out there, they're probably stray dogs because they ain't smelt that garbage from at least 150 feet away off the road. But that's where the garbage was and look at how they got in. So I came over here, I'm like, maybe they jumped over the lower point of the fences and I was like, there's no way. Look at this, look at these little buggers. They dug a straight up hole under the fence and slept those big old bodies through that thing. Is that crazy? Look at all the dirt from them kicking it up. And then they ran up, did their little eating session, and then came back out. What do you think if we like put some more food up there and have them come another night and we actually like sit out and wait for them? Would that be a good idea? Let me know in the comments down below. So yeah, just thought I'd mention it and uh, let's get on with today's video. As you can see, the fence is actually raised. I just have this all here so the pigs can't get out. And I also put this gate along the whole entire fence so they can't get out. But you can see it's raised up to here, so I actually need to get fill for the yard this high all the way through. So that's gonna be a, a big project. And then we also are having these planted right now. I think they're called Calusa or something like that. And they go all the way down the whole entire fence, down that whole side over there, and also all the way down that side. Lots of landscape is gonna go on right here. Two big palm trees to greet you right when you're coming through the gates. There's just a lot of work to do in general. I have so many ideas, so many things planned. This driveway is gonna be finished, everything. By the time I'm done with this, about a year from now, it's gonna look ridiculous. It is really windy too, by the way. Just from the little thing I put in the skimmer, it's creating all the beneficial bacteria that we need for this pond to get going and get ready, just like that. So uh, I'm excited it's going through all the piping into the biofalls. And this is what Ralph and Jack both suggested to me, is to do that little beneficial, here I'll pop a picture on the screen. That's what it looks like right there, Aquascape makes it. There's Eco Blast, which then you, you like spread this powder onto like uh, string algae if it's growing and it keeps that down. SAB as well, I'm popping all these pictures up on the screen just so you guys can see that this is indeed a living ecosystem already. It's pretty crazy. This was actually done. This was flowing like four, almost five days ago already. So uh, it's ready for some minnows, that's for sure. And uh, I'm ready to go catch them. Today, we are gonna stock the new pond that we just made. It was actually like three or four days ago. Videos just don't come out until, you know, you know how YouTube works. It's a, it's a little weird like that, but I got our net. The bucket's right there. And who's joining us today? Nick and doing? Austin. How you doing? Nick, what do you do well, for a living, man? What I do for a living is I train goats, okay? Ow. <laughs> hey, Austin, what do you do for a living? Oh, wait, yeah, you run a landscaping business. Yeah, and the, that's the people putting the plants in. Good job, man. Thanks. Volunteer for you. <laughs> Before we start, we need to go check out Nick's goats that supposedly he trains. So, uh, yeah, real, real quick, here we go. And then Jack is back. It's a Jack is back. <laughs> This way. We got Ralph and Fien right there, and we got Juliet right there. How are you doing, baby girl? Come over to Poppy. Wow, you really do have him trained. <laughs> Good boy, son. Yeah, Nick, I thought you had him trained, but it's oh, really not looking too hot. With him. Come here. <laughs> Look, I got your favorite snack. All right, back to minnow hey. catching. Where are you coming? We're gonna go middle catching. No, they're not trained. <laughs> okay, on a real note, we do have our net. We got our bucket right here. We've done this in the past, especially on my Instagram, at Pokefair, if you haven't followed me there. We need a little bit of fish, not like anything big, nothing huge just yet. Just some smaller fish to really get the cycle going. So that's what we're doing today, is getting some minnows. These are called mosquito fish, and I'm gonna pop up like a mini, tiny little Wikipedia thing on them right now. And uh, they literally eat mosquito larvae. That's where they, they get their name from. Tadpole. And tadpole, yeah, little tadpole oh, eggs, yeah. yeah. So they're pretty good to have in all your waterways. Uh, this right here is super easy. So what we're gonna do is get this 
this net right along the bank of this canal that's in the back of the house. Jesus. And uh, yeah. Jesus! What? The net! Sorry, man. First things first, let's do it. What the? I'm what coming. the? Ah! <laughs> Did you get any minnows? <laughs> what the? Are you? Did I get oh. them? Nope. Dude. Oh my. Wow. It's gonna be a long day. Uh, I got up. Oh. <laughs> Get me out of here, Gabe. Tell him now. <laughs> I'm freezing. While Nick's inside cleaning off all that nasty water that he just jumped into, we are gonna be netting some minnows. So I got my bucket full of water, and all you gotta do is kinda hop down here, and I'll show you how it's done. Watch this, ready? We've got 150,000 minnows right here. Just like that. Check this out, watch. Boom. Look at all them things. Everywhere. That's one solid scoop. Dozen minnows. Mosquito fish. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Oh, a cow one. Different colors. See that? I got him. I got him. Where is he? Yes. Look how sick this is. Let me get the one that just jumped in the... Look at this minnow. This thing has black spots all over it. I like to call those cow minnows. Just because it looks like a cow, you know, the, the colors. It's kind of cool. Wow, that's actually pretty rare in my book. We got minnows and one that has black spots all over it. So many. Look at this. One scoop after another, just boom, boom. So we've caught crawfish, we've caught shrimp, we've caught minnows. We've done all this in the past. This one is to stock the new pond. So I was initially gonna start off this video by catching minnows for everything. I'm pretty sure I just wanna dedicate this whole bucket of minnows to the new pond. And this will enable them to breed. They're gonna breed like crazy, have all these babies, and they'll just be like a whole pot of minnows in my pond. I think every pond I've gotten from Aquascape so far, I got minnows for. The first thing I got was the minnows. Uh, here's the video last time. It's almost at, maybe it's at a million now, I don't know. But I know I always get minnows, that's the first thing I do. So today's the day we do just that. You see him? Kind of. I'm going in. Yeah, you can see him. Going in. Gosh, they all come out. Oh, he has his phone! I kicked me in the water. You're lucky. I would have donkey kicked you. Oh, so many. So many. Boom. Boatload of minnows. I think we're good. So many right there. That's how you do it. You see the school, you dive down, you give it a nice scoop, and you get yourself some mosquito fish. See them all? Mm hmm So many. We got like three cow minnows, what I like to call them. They're just like, I don't know, what is that like? Um, I like to call them cow minnows. Look how clear the water is. Crystal clear. So sick, looks great. So for any of you that are new to the channel, haven't seen the whole build of this. There's a three part series, day one, day two, and day three of this being straight sod grass all the way to what it is now. I actually have a time lapse of the whole thing from grass to finish. And I'm gonna roll that footage right now. I didn't even show it in any of those videos. So here we go. If you have not done so already, check out those three videos. I'll have them all linked in the description, day one, two, and three. Start at one, obviously. It's so cool. You, know, you get to meet everyone that helped build this, and uh, it's it's an, just an amazing experience in general. So check it out. All these mosquito fish, though, are about to go in here. And they're gonna do some damage on the mosquito larva, since I don't have any fish in here yet. See under this log right here? There's holes, and in these holes are all the bufo toads. Bufo toad looks like this. They're an invasive species to Florida, and they're in there right now. That's exactly what they do, and then they come out at night, and you'll listen to them. They're coming out, here we go. There you go. Can't really see much. There's the whole school of them. 
if you look real closely, there's a lot in there. It is indeed the next morning, and look what came in the mail. I'm always just getting random stuff. Here we go. I believe this is some of the stuff to finish off this pond right here. We need a stump to cover the electricity, which is, I believe, in that big box. Got some other stuff in this box. Not sure what it is. And then some more stuff in this top box right here. So what do you say we open all this up? But before we open that, let's open some P.O. box stuff that I opened up last night. Real quick. Super quick. I don't know what video this is going in or what time of the video it's going to go in, but we got a lot of fan art right here, as you can see. A lot to hang up on the wall, as well as all the stuff that's already in that room over there but uh yeah there's a there's a ton of stuff like a, a lot yeah, a little fish trap or something pretty cool i mean there's so much stuff more over here can i please have a shot there you go cohen and look he has pigs too this right here is one of the biggest packages we had so far so we're just gonna rip this open and uh see what's inside sorry let's see it looks like it's straight from amazon because the amazon tapes on it canvas there's the letter it's a long letter too, so. Oh, this is sick. Look at that. Pretty cool, thanks Amanda, that's awesome. If you have sent anything, all this stuff will eventually be on the wall in the office over there. As you can see, we already got some art on the wall, but it's gonna be literally around this whole entire room. So, keep sending your art, it's linked in the description. All right, we got the iogen sifts, and this will keep the string algae down in this new pond right here. We also got the stump that I was talking about. That'll cover the electricity. A uh, few maintenance bags right here. Different stages, protect stage, the maintain stage, the maintain stage, and the protect stage, yep. So we got a few more auto-dosing bags. Those go in that little auto-doser. Six pathway lights. Those are these guys right here. At night, they light up, so we got six more to put around here. Dude, I didn't know I uh, sent it. The pond aerator, four outlets. It, dude, whatever pond we put that in, probably the big pool pond is gonna make so much aeration. The only reason why I don't wanna put it in here is because we got air right here. We got air right here. There's flow going straight to the skimmer. I've got other ponds that can use that. Oh, dude. 35 inch artificial drift wood. This is so sick. I've seen this in some of the water features. Quick little unboxing. I think we should get a lot of this out. I'm gonna put this to the side right now just because those six lights are a lot harder than it looks we got the iogen system the six lights We'll hook all those up later. I definitely gonna hook this up in this video artificial driftwood We'll save that for a different video never can have enough of these right here. These are little auto dosing bags Appreciate it Greg and the team of aquascape. Uh, this is a freaking sick little package We got by the way if you want to check out team aquascapes POV point of view No one knew what that meant on this pond build right here. I'll have it linked in the description You got to go check it out because they got different angles the angles that I didn't get so you can check that out link in the description beautiful front yard pond in other words and uh let's get this stuff installed all right before as you can see the wires and just like this here we go oh that is what i'm talking about plants aren't even in yet they're still in their pot and of course we got to fill in that with gravel and eventually not have this extension cord until i get electrician out here so, and guess what it's not only a stump that covers your wires it's also a seat now on to this aerator right here let's get this in this aerator is going inside our pool pond right here. As you can see, that muck that's kind of sitting at the bottom doesn't do anything to the fish. Just kind of gives that water a little greener tint. And also, it's also there because there's not really a flow on the bottom. And there's a flow right there which pushes the water. It's always circulating. You'll notice along the edges, there's no uh, muck. It just gets pushed in the middle. So that's what these aerators are going to be for. I'll put one, like, one right there, one right there in the middle. Are you kidding me? Yo, look how much comes with it. This is all tubing. I'm going to be able to literally get this these aerators anywhere in this pond as I want. Wow. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really stoked. I've never, I've never even, I actually didn't even know Aquascape had this air pump right here. I was like, yo, Greg, you got any aerators? And he's like, what do we not have? So I'm stoked to set this up. All right, let's get it going. We've got a lot of, obviously, this is all gonna be rock, you know. This will all be on the bottom and then pulled up right with these. So you won't even see these lines like that. But look at the aerators, boom. Boom, 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 all along the back there. So the back is mainly like the whole like your area where the oxygen and the flow is coming from the front is where you're gonna be able to see these fish and feed them and stuff. So I dedicated the whole back to not only the flow but the aerators as well. So now we got a flow that circulates it like this, a flow that makes the pump, the filter pump. I love aerators, I don't know what it is, I just love the whole bubbles thing. I I'm addicted to them. With that being said, today's positive comment shout out goes out to Outdoor Aquatics. 29 likes on this one. Pond looks amazing. Good job, team. 